My name is Julian Terrell. I'm the Environmental Justice Organizer here at Youth Ministries for Peace and Justice. Um, one of my main responsibilities is really working with youth both in Bronx River and throughout the Bronx to kind of help educate them about environmental justice um, and also work with them on some organizing projects to kind of help um, address some of the problems that we have in the Bronx. I mean, one of the biggest issues that we have in Bronx River, seeing how we're right next to the Bronx River, is the problem of combined sewage overflow. So one of the ways to kind of help solve that problem is to um, is to plant green roofs on buildings where you can actually handle it. You know, like we had been, been talking about it, our roof is um, is the first level of four different levels. We mainly use it for education. You know, pretty much just to show that we can do these in community color. We can get people outside and invested in their neighborhoods, but also. If you live in an urban environment, sometimes you don't have a backyard. Sometimes you don't have a, a nearby community garden. So green roofs are a way to kind of come up to your roof, be outside, and hopefully, you know, take care of some of the plants that you may have up here. All right. So my name is Andre Rivera. I'm 17 years old, and I'm a youth organizer for Youth Ministry of Peace and Justice. And right now, we're currently weeding out on top of the green roof. And to the green, next, to next to the green roof are the solar panels. And basically, the green roof is here for many reasons. One of which is to provide um, insulation of heat during the winter time and and to provide the cooling for the summer time when it's extremely heat outside. So we currently have sedums and wild onions, also a couple of grass type plants that's behind me. Um, we do have some weeds which we're up here working on and we do maintenance on the green roof every once a week, preferably on Wednesdays with the youth. So. One of the another main reasons that the green roof is up here is because it, it helps maintain water during rainstorms and also along with the rain gardens because it, it keeps water out of the river because like many of our streets are concrete and they're not you can't get water through them so that's one of the purposes to hold water on the roof. And it also serves for like educational purposes for the community members who don't exactly see it. So like if you look over, there's the projects, the houses, the Bronx River houses, and basically the community residents can see down all oh, look there's a green roof. Um, it's helping to retain water so that it doesn't end up in the river and cause pollution. So in the future, though this green roof is small, it can set an example for the youth to make an impact in their community, such as building green roofs on their own houses and like, on their own adults.